Hi, welcome back to my series on building an iOS app with C Sharp. This is module two on architecture. So the architecture I'm planning for the app, um, at a high level anyway, is first of all, at the top we'll have the views. Um, at this stage I'm only planning iOS views. Um, perhaps later we'll go back and you know, do, a, do Android or maybe even Windows views, but I'm uh, certainly not planning that at this stage. Uh, the green here just means platform specific. Um, also platform specific piece will be the unit test. And actually it's just the unit test harness that is plat platform specific. The tests themselves will be agnostic. Um, so I may separate them out into a separate assembly or you know, we'll see how we go there. Underneath that we've got uh, the view models. The blue here means um, it's agnostic of the platform um, and it'll be in a in a portable class library. Now, if you're not familiar with MVVM, um, you can think of the view model uh, is it, exactly what it sounds like. It's a, it's a model for the view. Um, it, we get as much of the code as we can into the view model because that allows us to um, share more code uh, across different platforms. And also we can test it better. Now, underneath the view models, we'll have the models. Uh, which is a UI agnostic uh, implementation of the business logic behind the application. Underneath the models, we've got the services, and these are providing various services like logging and scheduling and whatever else we need um, throughout the, uh, the functionality of the application. Um, the services assembly will probably contain the the contracts for the services as well, so the interfaces, as well as an implementation of most of those interfaces, but there will be some interfaces that need to be implemented per platform. So we'll have a separate iOS services uh, assembly as well. Now underneath all that, we'll have a utility assembly just for some various bits and pieces that are you could think of it, you could think of the utility assembly as as anything that could be in the in the base class library but isn't for whatever reason so we'll stick it in there instead now underneath that we've got third party libraries so i've signified that in red here um the first of which is um reactive ui um if you haven't used this it's it's an mvvm library with a reactive mindset at its heart um and we'll get into the details of that as we go along um, Reactive UI depends uh, on Monotouch, which is Xamarin's uh, kind of wrapper around iOS um, APIs, and also Reactive Extensions, um, which we'll be using extensively throughout the application as well. Um, and you can think of, if, if you're not using this, you can think of it as um, events on steroids, um, where we can actually compose events um, cr create pipelines of events and filter and, and what have you. And again, we'll get into the details of this as we go along. And the last third party library I wanted to mention was PCLMock or PickleMock, if you prefer. Um, this is actually my library, uh, open source on GitHub. Um, this is a portable mocking library, so we can use this from PCLs, um, which means our, our, our tests are platform agnostic and we can run them on an iOS device. There will, of course, be other third-party libraries that I'm not mentioning here, you know, end units, um, etc. Uh, we'll get into the details of that as we as we go along. I just wanted to give a high-level architecture picture here. Now, I also wanted to point out that the diagram is arranged roughly in vertical slices um, that depict dependencies. So, for example, this piece I've highlighted here the top at the top we've got the views and you can see that if you if you travel down you'll see what the views depend on so you can see that it depends on view models models uh, services utility etc um, you can also see that it does not depend on pickle mock and the same is true for most of this diagram any slice of this diagram um, but yeah don't hold me to that it's not perfect it's just um, a rough representation of dependencies Right, so that's it for the brief overview of the architecture. Um, next module, we will start putting our solutions and projects together. So I'll catch you then.